way, is it? Going out there. Everybody, this is Jordan Jones on the new Super Mario Bros. Wii tutorial. Let's learn how you beat World 4-3. So this is the second of... This is one of only two levels where you'll have to use a mini mushroom. Because there's only two levels in the game that require the mini mushroom for getting any star coin. And I'll show you what to do. It's pretty simple. I'll show you what to do, but... Mini mushrooms will make... I don't really like using mini mushrooms too much, in that, and this is good. I remember having to use them a lot in New Super Mario Bros. U. Okay, that's your first star coin. Pretty easy. That's how you have to do it. It's pretty easy. You'll get filled for a practice. Okay, so you have to have the mini mushroom to get one of the star coins here. And, and you can get two of them easily with the mini mushroom. Okay, that's the triple jump. So that triple jump will help you land right there. But you don't have to do any triple jump if you don't want to. Not a big deal if you don't. So what you want to do right here. See this middle block right here. You want to hit this middle block right here. And you'll become Mini Mario. And you want to jump over the sea urchin like that. You have to be very careful right here. You have to be careful right here. Because sometimes... And once you get down here, go inside this pipe right here, this mini pipe, and then get your star points. All you have to do, not difficult at all, pretty simple. Let's go over the whole level again without pausing. So you can see what it's like when you be all the way through. Um, remember the strategy we're going to use? This is the one of only two levels that require the mini mushroom in this game. There's not many levels of mini mushrooms in this game. That you, you, we won't be using mini mini mushrooms at all in this game. That's why this game is so easy. And it's so... And Star Points are out of the open too in this game. So you'll get feel for it practice. Okay, that's your first one. Pretty easy. Okay, this star power will make it, the, the rest of it pretty easy. So you're just going to need to do this. And look how easy it is to get the second star coin to star power. You, you can get it easily like that. You can get it easily. Like that. Very, very simple. Very, very simple to get. But the third star coin will take a little bit of practice because it's a little bit more difficult to get. So what you want to do is you get feel for it with practice. I almost messed up. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. And then go inside this pipe right here, this mini pipe while running across the water. And then inside this heart of coins, inside this coin, inside this coin, the coins that make a heart shape. That's your last dark one. Very simple. So I do very easy. So I do one of the easiest levels in the game if you're not counting that dark one. The most difficult thing is that dark one. It's pretty simple. Um, everywhere else, this level is pretty easy if you're not going for that star coin yet. So it would actually be pretty easy. But that's how you get that star coin. It's not difficult at all, but it's just, it's not difficult by any means. But it is a little bit tricky to perform that because it's easy to get hit with a mini mushroom. But you'll get it with practice. You'll get, get a feel for it with practice. And that's all I have to do with World 4 3. If you have any questions about World 4 3, Please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll gladly answer it for you. We'll be moving on to the tower next time. Okay, everybody, that was it. That's helpful, and have a good one.